Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just thought I'd do a quick video for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this look. If you want to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. So to start off with, I'm using the Body Shop Drops of Light Brightening Serum and I'm just going to pat this into my skin just to let the product sit. Next I'm using the Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Boosting Moisturiser and I'm just going to rub this into my skin um, and just let the product sit in. I'm now using the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream for under the eye area. I'm now going to spritz the Pixi Glow Mist all over my face. So to start off with I'm using the Pro Conceal from LA Girl in the colour Natural and I'm putting this on all over my eyelid as a base for the eyeshadow. As you know I always do this. I really like this as a base, it does work really well. Next I'm using the colour Rose Mist on the brow bone from the Laura Geller Wearables Colour Storing Palette. The next palette I'm using is from Sephora. The palette actually doesn't have a name and the colours don't have a name either so I do apologise about that but the colours I show you are the colours that I'm actually using on the um, eyes today. So the first colour I take, I'm just taking that into the socket of the eye and blending that out and um, just making it nice and soft because you don't want no harsh lines. The next colour I take, I'm going to put that into the outer corners of the eye and I'm going to blend that through as this is where we want the colour to be at its deepest. The next two colours I'm going to use are matte shades and I'm going to take them and put them onto the eyelid and blend them in and then I'm going to put them on once again so twice I'm going to apply this colour just to build the product and blend it again. I'm then going to take the darker shade that I put in the corner of the eye and I'm going to brush that underneath the lower lash line. Don't forget to blend this out to avoid any harsh lines. Taking Rose Mist again, I'm going to put this into the inner corner of the eye. For the waterline, I am using the NYX Wonder Pencil in Light Clear. Next we move on to the wing liner. <laughs> we all know I'm not a big fan of wing liners but for today's look I thought why not. So I'm using the MAC Fluid Line in Black Track and I'm going to just go ahead and draw this on my eye um, as you can see. So just the same, I start off from the middle of the eye working towards the inner corner of the eye and then I work towards the end of the eye which is the wing. I draw on the shape of the wing and then fill in the colour um, and then make it as thick as I like or as straight or as curly as I like. Now for the face, starting off with Maybelline Eye Erase Concealer in Nude, putting that on under my eye and blending that through with the Beauty Blender. For foundation, I'm using NYX Stay Matte but not flat foundation in Soft Beige, mixed in with the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir and I'm just going to mix the two products together on the back of my hand and then apply them onto my face.
For the highlight concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Eye Erase in the shade Light. For contour, we're starting off with the Revolution Ultra Pro HD Contour Kit. It's the cream contour kit to start off with, just as you all know, put this in all the contours of our face to make us look nice and slim. <laughs> yeah, so put, the, uh, put it into the contours of the face and then blend this out so you've got no harsh lines. To top this we're going to be using the powder version so the Revolution Ultra Pro HD powder contour now and just go over anywhere that you put the cream contour. Next to make us shine we're going to be using the cream highlighter from Benefit called What's Up. And then my trick blend it all together the contour and the highlight. For the lips, we will be using the Barry M Matte Me Up Matte Liquid Lip Paint and Lip Pencil in the shade Pose. These two come together as a kit, um, so yeah, you can get them from Superdrug. Absolutely great value for money, I think it's £5 for both of them. I have a few of their shades, um, I absolutely love the nude colour they have um, called Go To. So yeah guys, I would definitely recommend these, very very good value for money and they do stay on for quite a long time. Once I've finished with the lip paint, I go back over with the lip pencil just to take away any harshness on the edges as I like the colour to blend. So guys, it's the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial just on something quite simple on the eyes with a wing liner. As you all know, I don't really do wing liner much. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit like, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this to everybody. Um, and, and obviously follow me on my social media, Instagram and Snapchat. The links will be down below. Hope you have a lovely day. Take care. Bye.